Hi everybody, welcome back. So, look at this. This is our barn. We've got three cows and a baby in our field, and we've got two cows coming over to check it out. Like, hey, where's the party? Well, it's over there in that barn. <laughs> it's the party barn. <laughs> anyway, the barn is basically done. We've got a good barn classic shape on it. We've got an upstairs and a downstairs. We've got stalls. We've got the little overhang, you know, for, I don't know, treating cows when they get their little cow illnesses. So I think we can scratch off one of our major projects from our little signposts over there by the workshop, which we will, we will do. And now we'll take another closer look at that thing and figure out what our next project will be. But I think for this episode, guess what? We're going to probably take a look for more, <laughs> more bee stuff. Because gosh darn it, I really want some new wood. So let's take a look. What do we have... As far as, do we have anything? Do we have any more pollinated leaves? Any at all? Quick glance says no. <laughs> all right, let's check our bee boxes. Cultivated drone, common princess. Cultivated princess, cultivated drone. Cultivated, cultivated. I'm getting a lot of cultivated things. That's cool. Common princess, common drone. All right. Well, nothing spectacular yet. And it looks like all of our frames are missing. So let's empty our pack and come back and fill up our beehives, our apiaries, with something good. Oh, we'll take this ladder and put those in the barn. And maybe, maybe we'll do more impregnated casing. Maybe we'll do more. Nope. I don't know. Okay. Oops. Don't want to get rid of those. All right. Let's get started. Okay. Let's put our buckets away. We've got two. We'll put a water, both water buckets. They don't stack. We'll put them in there. Um, let's put away the wood that we don't need anymore. Keeping the ladders. And holding on to... Let's see. Put that there. Sticks. Put those in there. And the great wood logs, yeah, those will go in nicely. Let's see. We're keeping out our scoop just in case we come across any more interesting bees. All right. Let's put our fence, our, excuse me, our ladders in the barn. Okay, before we go to our barn, we're going to harvest up our wheat because we've got cows. We really want to start um, getting our cow operation moving along. <laughs> Get it? Mo moving. <laughs> Terrible puns, I know. <laughs> I promise I, there won't be too many more of those, I hope. Oh, hey, look! We've got our first melon. That's awesome. Let's, can we... Oh, yeah, we did it. Um, now, if I put the melon in there, I can get melon seeds. But that's awesome. Um, and, but I need my hoe to fix that dirt. And um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think if I combine my melons with a gold nugget, I get a glistering melon, which is um, a lot better for health. Or if it's not for health, it's for uh, potions. So let's get out the hoe. The stone hoe. And we've got plenty of wheat. We'll put the melons over here. We'll put the melon seeds there and yeah I think that's right let's plant oh hey it just grew back all of a sudden wow that was fast um okay 
Planting seeds. Do do do. Seed planting. Do, 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 do. Okay, seeds have been planted. The melon didn't grow right away, which is uh, actually a good thing because um, I didn't want to keep an eye on it. Putting back the seeds, putting away. Let's hang on to these melons. Why not? Maybe maybe we'll get a little hungry while we're tending cows. But that's our next stop. Our next stop is indeed the barn. So headed to the barn. Okay, headed towards the barn. Let's get out our wheat. Because I see two cows that are applying for a home in the barn. <laughs> Come on, you guys. I know you want to join me, uh, join the party in here. Come on. Yes, there's one. Bruno, can you help me get this other one over there? Come on. Come on. Yes. They're in. Sorry, Bruno. You stay out for just right about now. Okay. You guys. We're doing it. How about you? And you. And I'm hoping... Yeah, we got three babies going. All right, excellent. This will help us in our quest for books when we make an enchantment library. Oh, there's an experience orb. We need bookcases. Let me take the take the wheat out of my hand before I cause a cow riot. Okay, I'm gonna come into the barn. Bruno, you coming? There you are. Um, putting the wheat away. Wheat is officially... Oh, there's a great wood log in there. That's all right, though. Putting our ladders away, like I said we would. We don't need any dirt. Let's put three ingots in here just in case we need a tool of some kind. We'll put the glass panes in there in case we've got to replace any of those. And I forgot to put the hoe back. <laughs> Let's put it in the barn. You never know. In fact, we'll put three coal in the barn, too, just in case along with these sticks in case we need to make oh we do need to make torches I thought we had torches but we are all out so let's make some torches because those definitely come in handy eight of them alright and then we'll put still put three coal in here just in case you never you never can tell when you need it I hope I've lit this up fairly good um, that we don't get any monsters in our barn but I'm not a hundred percent I could put in more more lighting but I think this is pretty good for now so um, yeah yeah look at that cows calves cows we've got the wild cows over there we could uh, we could get them, but I don't think we're going to. All right. So let us... Did I go? I did not. Let us go back to the workshop and get out the apple oaks and the birch trees that I know that are in there. And let's plant those um, in our beehive area. With the. Ch in fact, before we plant that, let's actually... I'm going to go into my inventory... I'm going to type in tree, and I'm going to see what I've got here. I've got rubber tree saplings, tree tap, tree analyzer. Is that what I want? Do I want a tree analyzer? Um, some of these trees, these probably are spoilers. A tree -alyzer. Maybe that's what I want. I think I want a tree -alyzer. How do I make that? Two copper ingots. Two redstone, two glass panes, and a diamond, plus two ticks of water in the carpenter. All right, so two redstone, two glass pane, copper. I think I can do it. Okay, one diamond. I'm running low, uh, really low on diamonds, so I'm going to have to make, um, what do you call that thing? 
Gonna have to make a quarry soon. But let's get out two redstone. Then we wanted. Oh, the glass panes are in the barn. <laughs> Darn it. Um, and then copper ingots. So. And we only have. Oh, no, there we do. We got two, three, four copper. Let's go get the glass pane real quick. And, oh yeah, how about a bucket of water? We're going to need that. And it's getting dusk, so we'll probably meet in the mill uh, at the carpenter in the morning. But let's get those glass panes, because we definitely know we want those for the treealizer. Maybe this is part of my problem. Okay. Two, three. I'm going to take more than I need. And I'm going to take these glass blocks. Okay, let's get to bed. We'll say good night to the cows. Good night, cows. No jumping over the moon. <laughs> good night. Sleep tight. Oh, a growing herd. That old joke. Yeah, I've heard of cows. Who hasn't heard of cows? <laughs> Lame. <laughs> Alright, let's get to bed. Alright, we're back at the workshop, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have breakfast. I'm actually eat these melons. How much health does one melon fix? Just one. <laughs> Alright, good to know. But let's get out the bread. I know bread is rather filling. And two, two loaves and we're good to go. I had some creepers attack me last night, so putting the gunpowder away from that. And uh, I'm not sure how I got an ink sack, but I'm going to put that in there. Okay. Let's go to the carpenter. Oh, you know what I forgot to get? Gosh darn it. Forgot to get a bucket of water. In fact, let's get the two buckets. All right, here we go. Over to the carpenter. Oh, bad news. There's a bad dude in here. What are you doing in my mill? You are not authorized to be in this mill. <laughs> okay, what do we have in the carpenter? Okay, we still have almost an impregnated casing. Um, I, do have, I do have plenty of coal. I'm glad I brought the coal. So let's get this going and finish that casing so that we can put other things in here. Is it going to make it? Yes, it did. All right. We're going to put that in the B box for sure. We're going to remove this wood from the pattern. And now what we got to do is we get out our pipette and let's pipe out this seed oil. But let's put in this water bucket. Excellent. So we've got two ticks of water. Now if I remember, the pattern was copper there, diamond there, redstone there, and glass panes here. And that should give us a treealizer. So let's put in the materials in the materials resources thing. And let's let that cook up. Let's put in two more coal in there. What's in our squeezer? Nothing. We're not squeezing nothing. Oh, we did make all the uh, the beeswax and the honey, though. So that will also go in our bee chest, if there's room. How are we doing on the treealizer? Getting there. Halfway there. Boy, it's using up a lot of coal awfully quickly. Come on. Let's go to the... Is that a... Yes, that's zombie steak. Let's pick that up. Let's go to our workshop and let's get out our apple oaks and our silver birches from our wood, wood chest. 
So here we go. Apple oak. Silver birch. Another apple oak. This one is the weird one that doesn't stack. All right, back to the mill. Okay, we're at the mill, and... <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to put the seed oil... Can I put it in the squeezer? Yes, I can. And I made another seed oil can, which is interesting. So, put the seed oil can in here. Put the pipette there. And we're almost done with our trealizer. <coughs> I don't know if the trealizer needs a catalyst or not. But we're definitely going to take it. I'm going to take the glass panes out of there. And let's put it in our hot bar. And so, I, yeah, I do need honey, but fortunately I have some. So I'll put the honey there and put this weird apple oak there. Okay. So active, inactive. Saplings normal, matures fastest, height small. Interesting. What, is the, what do these do? Is that any different? That didn't look to be any different. Fastest, small, normal. Yeah, that's the exact same thing. Weird. What do these do? Fastest, small. Um, evolution. So I'm putting it in these different categories. This tells me... What does this tell me? I don't know. <laughs> Produce possible mutations. That's what I wanted. And there are none. Possible specialty, none. Fruits, none. Nothing. Anything with this? No. This is an apple oak silver birch hybrid. This is apple oak silver birch hy hybrid. No mutations, nothing. All right, well, weird. Weird indeed. But we've got a trealizer, so I, that must be good for something. Let's go back to the bees. And let's get this all coordinated together. All right, we're back at the bees. There's the barn in the background. Um, we put our trealizer away. Trealizer, bealizer. Um, put in our honey drops. We've got plenty of them. In fact, this is an apple oak sapling. We can analyze if we or trealize if we want to. We might as well. It's the only one we haven't yet. Did we trealize these? I don't know. Um, putting in another impregnated casing. Putting in the beeswax. And let's trealize that one apple oak. Apple oak, silver birch, fastest, small. Does this stack with anything? Hmm. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to do these things, I don't think. I'm going to have to look up better breeding. I thought, I thought this was right. It probably is right. If it isn't right, you can always leave me a comment and let me know. <laughs> but I think it's right. I think I'm... I think I'm supposed to uh, cross-pollinate an apple oak with a silver birch. I'm pretty sure that's right. And that should give me, I'm hoping, a silver lime tree. It's kind of a rare deal, but um, like I said, that's what I'm hoping for. Let's collect these bees and that honeycomb. And let's get some more um, bee breeding going. And we'll get the honeycomb out of there for sure. Will this bee stack? No, the bee doesn't stack. Pulling out. Putting those in. Pull out some frames. Put that in for there temporarily. Let's get this bee box going. So frames. Put a cultivated princess in with a common drone. And I'm hoping that will give me either a noble or an industrious bee. 
So let's get out three more frames. And we'll put in a common princess with a cultivated drone. I'm hoping that will give me a noble or industrious bee. We'll pull out these three frames and put those in there. Another cultivated princess, and we'll put that with a... Oops. Let's get a common drone out. I believe that's on page two. Common drone. We've got a common princess that can go with a cultivated drone. So, All right, so the cultivated princess with a common drone and a common princess with a cultivated drone with our last frame that I didn't pick up. <laughs> So get the last frame. All right, well, let's see. Put that there. Oh, and pick out the cult of the common drone. I'm just going to put the common drone there for now. Why not? Why not? Maybe I should do better with just um, putting regular bees. I've been so um, diligent about putting only um, commons with um, cultivateds that maybe I'm kind of stuck duck I'm not I don't have enough biodiversity among my bees but before too much goes further I'm going to chop down this tree first of all it's not aligned with the others across the the way not seeing any pollinated leaves inside um, it's just not it's not working for me is this one lined up that tree, I think this tree is actually lined up. Yes, it is. It is actually lined up. So I'm going to leave that tree there. And I'm going to put an apple oak here. So apple oak. Well, this is an apple oak silver birch hybrid, according to my tree elizer. And plant that there. And let's organize our our pack a little and put some of these bees away. Cultivated drones. Yeah, I think we better head home for uh, for a nap, and we'll be back here in the morning. Is that right? I think no, that's not right. I planted. I planted the tree in the wrong place. I did it again. Gosh darn it. Let's put this tree. This one hasn't been treealized, but this one has. Got to put it right there. And we're going to help um, this along a little bit by taking down these leaves. Okay. Bruno, you're standing right on top of my sapling, and I need to put some bone meal on that so you're gonna have to move okay thankfully he did there we are so with that fixed that tree is lined up but uh, these trees are looking pretty raggedy since I've you know taken out pollinated leaves from them but I'll let them go another round all right. Well, with that, I think we're going to go ahead and call it an episode. Thanks again for watching. Um, if you like the series, please consider hitting the old thumbs up underneath the video and, you know, subscribing and all that jazz. And we will see you again next time. Thanks again for watching. Good luck and goodbye.